Hi. In this video, we're going to talk about three main mistakes that entrepreneurs make when they're fundraising for the first time. My name is Victoria Yampolsky, and I've run the Startup Station, a comprehensive educational resource for early stage startup founders. Mistake number one, raising money too early. Now, all investors have their qualifying criteria. And if you don't meet those criteria, you can't even be considered for investment. So when you are considering whether or not you should start raising money, you should first research what criteria your business must meet to be eligible for that investment. So if you're raising pre-seed money, you should research what the pre-seed criteria is for different funds and only apply to those funds or only contact those angel investors that have the criteria that you meet, right? Otherwise, you're just wasting your time and you're wasting their time. And by the way, if you waste their time, you are also uh, losing an opportunity to contact them when the time is right, right? So not doing enough research in terms of your eligibility, your investability is one of the uh, main fundraising mistakes that first-time entrepreneurs make. Mistake number two, not signing a co-founders agreement uh, and or having a crowded cap table. Let's talk about that. So you have a co-founder, you have more than one co-founder. Uh, and then when you start your company, everything is great, you're friends, and then you think that you're going to be together forever, right? However, things happen. A startup journey is not an easy one and it's wrought with ups and downs and disappointments and uh, feelings of exhilaration and success and that anything is possible, etc. Therefore, it is extremely important to sign a co-founders agreement when you start the company, even before you may uh, incorporate it legally, so that you spell out your equity stakes and how they're going to be vested and you spell out everybody's responsibilities. And you also have a plan for when somebody decides to leave the venture, how that process is going to look like. Okay, when you don't do that, when you start raising money, suddenly investors, of course, want to see all of those documents. And then it's much more difficult to negotiate these things after the fact, when there's potentially already a conflict, then when things are good, and you all have the right intentions, and all everybody's incentives are aligned to agree. Now, in terms of the crowded cap table, uh, it's very common for entrepreneurs to give equity to everybody who's going to help them along the way as a thank you. But really, uh, you should only offer equity to people who are going to be involved with the company long term. right? And if you start offering equity to random people for favors that they're going to do for you, you end up with a you know, table of people that have no business being involved in your company. And investors don't like that. They don't like dealing with people who don't have any incentive to uh, be invested in a company's success long term. Okay, so think about that. And the third mistake is that you raise the money when you need it badly. Now, when you uh, make an investment, you are saying implicitly that you trust that person. When you lend money to a friend or whether you make a financial investment into a startup. And building trust takes time. So what's going to happen is if you're going to put yourself in a situation where you're going to ask other people to make an investment for you before they have time to develop that trust, you either not going to be able to do it, you're going to have to close your venture altogether, or you will be forced to pay the price for the lack of trust in worse financing terms. So you're going to potentially be forced to take a deal that is not good for you and your current investors or the future of the company. So it's much better to allow yourself the time to build those relationships to find the right financial partners so that when the time comes, you know whom to go to and they are ready to give you the capital that you need. For more information on the fundraising strategy and financing vehicles, check out our course number five on the Startup Stations website. Thank you for watching and see you next time.